Hey everyone, and welcome back to the smoking session. I'm Sean, and tonight we are going to be smoking the All Out Kings by Cadwell Company and uh, collaboration with Drew Estates. So tonight we have a couple different announcements. Um, we are doing the uh, breast cancer awareness drive still. Uh, so if you want to get involved with that, please go to the smoking sections, Facebook group, and I will be reposting that to see if anybody would like to help join in for that to, uh, donate to a good cause for breast cancer awareness month, which is October, which is where we're at right now. So if we want to do, and if you're, if you guys want to do anything like that, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to repost it and hopefully you guys can do something for it. If not, that's fine too. Maybe you share it and let somebody know that um that it's going on and we can try and raise some money for a good cause. Uh, second announcement that I'd like to make real quick is we finally have we finally have our stickers. Yes, there's one missing because I had to cut one out for Jess. Um, she wanted one for support, but we finally have our stickers now for the smoking section group page. So if you're interested in a sticker, please let me know and we can do uh, maybe try and get one out to you. So hopefully you guys would want one. Uh, if not, that's fine too. Just keep on tuning in and uh, enjoy the smokes. So real quick, right off the bat, we have Eric saying, Hey, Sean, what's going on, Eric? Nice to see you. And Jessica, Sean, I'm here. And I figured out how to comment this time. Very nice. Uh, Jess was in the background last time, but she couldn't figure out how to comment in the smoking section uh, live chat. So uh, she finally figured that out. So that's great. Thank you very much, babe. Thank you for coming out. So I'm going to light this bad boy right on up, and we're going to get right started with it. So for anybody wondering, this is my first time smoking the All Out Kings. Um, I found it at one of my local cigar stores, and I really wanted to try it. So I figured, why not make a live stream about it? Now, right off the bat, that has a very, very unique taste. Um, I know that with this cigar, you're going to get a little bit of cream. Um, you're even going to get a little bit of milk chocolate in it. And as I said in the beginning, it's going to be a collaboration of uh, Caldwell and Drew Estates. So Drew Estates has a very unique uh, spice that they use in some of their um, cigars recipes. And this one's going to have just a touch or a little bit of a hint of that in there with, with everything. And for those of you that have never seen an All Kings cigar, it has the crown and three hands that are kind of uh, grabbing the crown. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful stick. Uh, this one is the Toro, or the Extra Toro, I should say. And it is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful dark Maduro wrapper. Um, it's, it's an absolute beauty. Uh, it's, it's a little veiny, uh, with, with the leaf, but I'll tell you one thing. It's just, it's, it's so beautiful the way that it's put together and that wrapper with just the white, a little bit of the gray and some gold in there. It's just absolutely beautiful. So real quick, Eric saying hi to Terry and Jessica says, hi, Mr. Monroe. See, you're using the new cigar case. Yes. So Monday I had a few things that I had to try and take care of. Um, and I was running a little bit late with trying to get a live stream out and the live stream wound up getting postponed to today, uh, mainly because yesterday was my father's birthday. So happy, very happy, very much of a birthday to you, father. Um, he's actually chilling right behind me, right about in this area here. You could probably see him. Give a wave real quick. There he is. Um, he's actually out here uh, smoking a cigar with me. I let him try one of the Comfortably Numbs by uh, Espinosa. So hopefully he'll be able to give us a little bit of an update on that in a little bit to tell us how, uh, how he's enjoying it. Um, Jessica says, uh, what do you mean by veiny? Well, a lot of cigars, um, at least most of them that I've come across and a lot of the ones that I smoke, you're not really going to see it in the video, so I apologize. I'm going to try my best to show it to you, but um, you can see like right in here, 
right in there, you're going to see a little bit of that leaf, that leaf vein. So like if you were to go outside and take like an oak leaf and you see the main veins that go through the oak leaf, um, they're going to be a little bit perforated. Uh, where you're actually going to be able to feel those and you know see them within the wrapper. And a lot of times what companies will do is they'll put that side, which they consider the ugly side, on the inside with the filler and the tobacco. Um, this one, I believe, does the same thing because it is a very, very smooth wrap. Um, but you can really see the definition of the veins within that leaf. Uh, the leaf is absolutely beautiful in that nice chocolatey brown Maduro that's just absolutely stunning. And with that cigar band that's on it, with that, you know, kind of, it's more of like a copperish brown, uh, copper brass kind of uh, colored crown with, you know, some grayish, you know, grayish out hands that are grabbing for it. And it all goes together with a nice, beautiful white, uh, kind of like a darker white. Uh, background for it and it's just a really really beautiful ring and it has a very very nice smooth taste um so this cigar is going to be right in the uh medium or mild to full body uh right in the beginning it's going to start with a little bit of medium tones kind of working you into that mild uh, mindset. Um, but for the price that it's at, this is going to be around a 12 to $13 cigar. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. The taste is really, really unique. And like I said, this is by Cadwell and Drew Estates. So if anybody knows Drew Estates, uh, Drew Estates does like the Fat Bottom Betty, the Leather Rose, uh, the Crazy Alice, the Sweet Jane, the Java series. Um, they have a lot of different cigars that they put out. Um, I believe the uh, the Swamp Rat, and the, which is also like the Kentucky Fire Cured, just a more mild version of the Kentucky Fire Cured, that would all be Drew Estates as well. Um, so they put out a lot of different cigars, and they actually came together with Cadwell uh, Tobacco Company or Cigar Company, and they wanted to put both ideas together, and they came up with All Out Kings. And it's just a really, really nice, smooth cigar. So Jess says, so the leaf of the outside part, I thought it was the inner part. Not too sure what you mean by that exactly. Um, so a cigar is composed of... Uh, three different parts, which obviously going from the outside in, you have your, uh, your wrap, which will tell you if it's like a Connecticut, uh, which is like a lighter leaf wrapper or a Maduro, which is a darker leaf wrapper. Um, you have your filler and then you have your tobacco product that's inside as well. Now the filler and the tobacco product are the, like, they're both tobacco product, but, uh, the aging process is going to be a little bit different between the filler and the actual tobacco that you're going to be smoking. Um, you're smoking the you're smoking everything. I mean, anybody who knows, um, you're smoking the the outside wrap. You're you're smoking the filler. You're smoking uh, the extra tobacco that's inside. But when I say veiny, when it comes to a cigar, um, that's all how the wrap, the outside of the cigar looks. Um, some cigar companies, and I can't think of one right now because I'm, I'm obviously, you know, concentrating on this one, but there are a few out there that I have smoked that actually take the quote unquote ugly side of the leaf that they wrap everything with. And they put that on the outside to kind of give it a more unique look when it comes to everything. And I kind of feel like everything's kind of like I'm looking up too much. Sorry about that. I try not to adjust my camera too much on camera. Um, because I just think that it's rude, but sorry about that little side, uh, side tangent squirrel moment, as some people would say, but some companies wind up doing that with the wrap of the cigar to kind of give it a unique look, a unique feel. And sometimes it even changes the flavor of the cigar a little bit. Um, I can't tell you exactly how it changes the flavor. Cause you would think the same wrap of that would be you know, the same inside as it is outside. Um, but it can change the outside or it can change the taste of the cigar just a little bit by flipping that ugly side 
towards the outward and having the pretty side on the inside. Oops, I'm using my hands too much. Let me just bring that down like that. That's good. Perfect. So I am getting a lot of the little bit of a, like a milk chocolate in there. It, it's definitely a sweeter cigar for a, um, a more of a medium going into a full bodied cigar. I can definitely taste a little bit more of a sweetness to it, which is a lot of the milk chocolate and the, the cream kind of coming together. It's not too heavy on the pepper right now, which is really, really surprising for it being a full bodied cigar because I'm really not tasting too much of that pepper, even through like the nasal exhale. Um, the cigar is doing really, really well though. Only problem that I'm finding right now is that the ash is very, very fluffy. Um, I've already had a, a few pieces drop down in front of me and, um, not like it's a bad thing, but it's, I can already kind of tell like there's a few spots and I don't know if you guys would be able to see that, but right here on this side right there, you can kind of see where it's starting to, uh, you know, fleck outward. And it's just showing me that the ash is very, very light and puffy. So um, Darren says, uh, what up, bud? D checking in. Where you been? Well, you know what? In all honesty, I've, I've just been home. Um, I've been working a lot. Um, I'm actually going to be working at the Smoking Dog both Friday and Saturday this week. So I, I wanted to make sure that I got out a cigar review this week. But... Uh, Monday I had a lot going on and I just wasn't going to have enough time. And if I did, I would have been out here at like eight, eight thirty. And I know that not a lot of people want to pull up YouTube around eight thirty and watch a live stream. They'd rather pull it up the next morning and, you know, relax, drink some coffee or even at their desk while they're waking up if they work at a desk. Um, so I wound up not doing it Monday. I did a post about it. Uh, Tuesday was my father's birthday. So I wound up, you know, dedicating my time to him. Uh, we had our family come over and just kind of hang out, do gifts, cake, all that good stuff. And then today I'm here. Uh, today was a good day at work for me. And I figured, you know, I'm going to do a cigar review on Wednesday because the rest of the week's looking pretty busy for me as well. But how are you, Darren? How, how has everything been with you, man? Are you smoking anything tonight? In case anybody was wondering um, what I'm pairing this with, I'm actually doing a Cayman Jack Mojito, which I, I, I really like mojitos. So I was like, I didn't really feel like making one. So I picked this up at the lo local liquor store and I said, you know, I'm going to just kind of chill out with a mojito. The weather's really nice for it as well. Um, I don't know where everybody's kind of coming from. Well, I know where a few people are coming from, but. Um, New Jersey is quite warm right now, uh, for it being October. I know that, um, New Jersey weather is kind of weird all over the place because we've had 70 degree Christmas days and that was always a, a weird one for me. But, um, right now it's just a really nice, beautiful day. Uh, it's a beautiful, uh, it's not too humid, but it is kind of a, a little bit on the warmer side. That's why I'm out here in a t-shirt tonight instead of a, uh, nice shirt and tie. And Darren saying, uh, I'm blessed, which that's always important to hear from you, that I, I'm really glad to hear that you're being blessed, man. Uh, probably smoking an H. Upman by A.J. Fernandez, or and uh, probably after I have dinner. So very nice, man. We just finished up dinner. Um, Dad had a few things that, were, that was going on tonight. So we just kind of uh, grabbed some McDonald's, and we wound up uh, coming right on out here right after we were done McDonald's. So I, I was like, I, I got to get this this live stream out at seven o'clock. I already did a post about it. So, uh, hopefully, uh, I was right on time with that. And, um, yeah, we just, we just finished dinner. So it's, it's, it's nice to be able to just eat something and sit back, relax and have a really, really nice cigar. And Terry Monroe says, uh, the comfortably numb is very smooth and nicely mild. Very nice. I'm, I'm actually going to be doing a cigar review on that as well. I picked up a few different cigars. Ooh, excuse me. I picked up a few different cigars that I want to bring onto the show. Uh, things that I haven't tried yet. I think it's, 
I think it's a lot better when I go into something a little more blind than if I was just to say, oh, I've had this before. I kind of know what to expect. Um, there are going to be cigars that I'm going to bring onto the show that I, I've already smoked, maybe one to probably ten of them. But there are a few things that I want to bring onto the show that uh, are going to be new for me. So hopefully everything will be A-OK with that as well. Um, kind of like this one, uh, All Out Kings. And I got to say, this scar is very, very smooth when it comes to pull as well. Um, I wound up doing a straight cut on that. Uh, I didn't do a V cut and I didn't do a punch. Uh, I am a little bit of a traditionalist when it comes to cigars. I really don't do too many V cuts. And the only time I really do a punch on a cigar is if it's a flavor tipped cigar, such as like the, the fat bottom Betty or uh, the sweet Jane, um, something like the leather Rose and the crazy Alice that are both sweet tipped as well. Um, I usually do a straight cut on those because they are torpedo shaped. Uh, technically, I guess the crazy Alice is cone shaped, whereas the leather Rose is a torpedo. Uh, so, but I usually try to do like a, uh, a straight cut on those, but I try not to take too much of the tip off. So that way I can still have that sweet tip to it. Um, but a lot of my cigars that I smoke, I really don't use a V cut or a, uh, punch for those. I usually like to have a nice straight cut on it mainly because I don't like fighting with my cigars. Um, I like having a very nice, even pull with my cigar. So usually a straight cut usually gives me the uh, satisfaction of that nice, easy pull when I'm, you know, smoking one I'm gonna be honest with you uh, even now I'm, I'm still not tasting too much of any pepper that's in this I have a little bit of that uh, Drew Estate spice that I've noticed in other cigars of his or of Drew Estates themselves and I'm really I'm tasting that, but I'm not tasting anything that's going to be too, too much on the pepper side. I'm really, really surprised with how sweet this cigar is. It's not very sweet like a Fat Bottom Betty or a Leather Rose kind of sweet or even the Java series, but sweetness when it comes to just that milk chocolate and that cream that are combining together and just giving you a really, really nice, enjoyable cigar. Uh, for this being a darker wrapper, uh, it's it's absolutely beautiful, and it's it's just a really really nice cigar to sit and enjoy. And like I said, it's it's pulling very very evenly. And if you're wondering, yes, I did knock my ash off because I didn't want to have ash all over my table. Um, it's hard enough trying to keep this clean, so uh, I didn't want to have any of that on there. But the ash fell right off as soon as I kind of did like a little a little roll. On the ash, um, it, it came right off. It wasn't solid at all. So I knew that it wasn't really going to hold up too, too well. Um, but the cigar itself is burning really, really evenly. And it's just a beautiful cigar that just has such a unique flavor. And I think that Caldwell and Drew Estates did a really, really nice job with this cigar. And I, I love everything about it. Um, the only thing that I'm going to say about it is I wish that the ash stayed on it a little bit longer because I do enjoy ashing my cigars, but the cigar itself is doing a really, really nice job with just maintaining its flavor. Ooh, excuse me. And also just trying to pick out some of the flavors. It's not really that complicated when it comes to the flavor profile, which I think is really, really important when you're first trying a cigar because you read about some of the cigars that you're going to be smoking and you honestly want to try and see if you can pick out some of those flavors. So I think that it's really, really nice that it's just a nice cigar to be able to go to for just an everyday smoke if you really, really wanted to. And the burn is really, really even as well. Um, I have one little, one little hill that's not really all that big of a deal right now, but it's still just a really, really nice burning cigar. I know that it's going to correct itself with that small hill in the next couple of uh, puffs. And I think that that's really, really important as well, that the structure of your cigar fits the time that you're having with the cigar. Uh, if you're really enjoying the cigar, then your, your cigar should hold up. Uh, I think that that's what turns a lot of people off when smoking cigars, that 
some cigars could be really, really nice, but then if they start to fall apart and crack and start having holes in them, uh, or, you know, a crack in the cigar that leads to the smoke going out somewhere else. And it feels like you're not getting that much smoke. That's going to lead to a more unenjoyable cigar. And you're probably not going to want to pick that one up again. So I think that the structure of a cigar, the flavor of the cigar, the profile of the cigar, and just the amount of enjoyment that you're getting out of the cigar all fall right into a category where you need to evaluate that to be able to say, Hey, I would buy this one again, or you know what? I'd probably only smoke it once. Maybe if somebody gave it to me, I'd smoke it again. And this one, all out Kings is doing a beautiful job with all so far. And the flavor is still just really, really unique. Um, I definitely taste uh, a little bit of that Drew Estate spice that they were talking about with the cigar. And it's just, it's very, very weir weird to be smoking this by Drew Estates um, and Cadwell because it, it's such a collaboration of just two different styles of cigars that it just, it, it's very, very odd, but it's just a really, really nice mashup of cigars. I remember as a kid, and I'm, well, I know, some of you are probably going to say you're still a kid, but I remember when I was a littler kid, uh, it was really, really awesome to see, like, when I used to watch Scooby-Doo, and Scooby-Doo would, you know, get together with, like, Batman and Robin, and they would have, like, a special episode for that, and there was just, you know, two different cartoons that I remember watching coming together, and that's kind of, like, What's going on with this? That, you know, I, I love the, the Leather Rose and the Fat Bottom Betty. And I really enjoy a lot of Cadwell cigars as well. And bringing both of those cigar companies together to create a really, really beautiful cigar is just, it's like your dream come true of just being able to see, you know, Scooby-Doo and Batman and Robin come together uh, to save the day. It's just, it's, it's just a really, really nice, nice cigar to just sit back and enjoy and relax with. Oh, so, um, oh. and I'll be honest with you. Um, some of the things that I've read on this cigar and, you know, I have a few facts about the cigar over here that I'm, I'm kind of looking to um, to bring up. But, you know, for this being an oily cigar, you know, uh, some of the, the reviews that I've read on the cigar said that, you know, it can be quite oily at times. And I'll be honest with you, the, I, I don't have a lot of what I would consider oils that I'm getting from the cigar um, unless it's going to start doing that towards... Um, the last third, oh, excuse me, mojitos are very, very spicy for my insides, but I love them. Um, unless it starts getting more that way towards the last third of the cigar, I really haven't noticed too, too much of a difference with it. And, you know, the flavor is still very much there. Um, <clears throat> I just truly, truly enjoy this cigar and it's, it's doing such a nice job. Uh, the cigar is absolutely beautiful when it comes to just flavor i'm really enjoying this cigar and i'm not like i'm having trouble putting it down but i i know that i have to keep talking about the cigar a little bit but i i want to keep puffing on it because it's just it's really really nice it, it has such a unique flavor profile and i'm just really enjoying it it's one of those cigars that you really can sit back and enjoy and not have to worry too too much about Yes. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't talk too, too much about that. Oh, cigar is just, it, it's, it's, it's really, really nice. I'm sorry. It, it just has such a unique flavor profile. Um, you don't, I mean, at least not too many cigars that I've had. I don't really get too much of that uh, milk chocolate and cream 
uh, that kind of come together so nicely. Um, usually it's either one or the other. You're usually getting a little bit of cocoa or, um, you know, a little bit of cream in it as well. And it's just, it, they're coming together so nicely um, that the cigar is just doing marvelous, marvelous things right now when it comes to just flavor profile. I am starting to dip a little bit more into the pepper, um, but it's, it's not very, very strong when it comes to pepper. It's just, it's, it's more of like where I thought that the, the chocolate and the cream would be where it would kind of be on like the last little bit of the exhale and it's the complete opposite. I'm getting a lot more of the chocolate and the cream in the beginning. And I'm getting a little bit more of that pepper towards the last little bit of smoke. That's, you know, kind of stretching over the last part of my tongue. And it's just, it's doing really, really well when it comes to just maintaining that beautiful flavor that I'm really enjoying. Um, I'm really hoping that it doesn't change too drastically um, throughout everything. But I just hope that everything goes really, really smooth with it. And I, I, I have very, very high hopes for this. Um, I'm trying to find... Oh, I was trying to find how much is in each box because I know that that's somewhat important as well in case you were wondering. Um, so they come in a box of 20. Uh, the box of 20 is going to be right around 280 to 290 when it comes to everything, um, when it all comes down to it. Uh, I'm trying to see right about where So if you were wondering and I'm sorry I didn't I didn't put any of this down as well um, but if you're wondering so uh, as for the cigar uh, it is a Maduro wrapper which I already said um, it is a Sumatran binder and long fillers from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. So if you're wondering where some of the tobaccos came from, uh, I wanted to put that out as well, that it's a Sumatra binder, uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican Republic tobaccos as well. Just in case you were wondering, um, I try to have a lot of my information down, but sometimes I don't always, uh, I don't always remember to do that sometimes. Uh, Darren said, good God, what's the matter? What, what, what happened? Some, are you, are you enjoying your, uh, are you enjoying your cigar? Did you just light it up? What happened? Very, very good. So uh, <clears throat> I figured while I'm while I'm still smoking, I'll I'll do a couple announcements as well. Um, if you like these videos and you want to stay updated with what's going on, when I'm going live, uh, what cigars are being smoked, which ones are not being smoked, all those sorts of things, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, just look for the smoking section, and you'll see the prayer hands with the chain and the cigar. Um, if you want to stay in touch or if you're looking for any of the swag right now, the only swag that I have are stickers. So if you want a sticker swag, uh, come on down there as well. Um, okay. We have an update. Uh, Darren says, uh, he was reacting to the price of the cigar that I'm reviewing. Yes. No, the, the cigar itself is not 280 to $290. Trust me. Um, I would be probably out of my mind if I paid that much for one cigar, but that is for a box of 20 of these bad boys right here. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. Uh, they do go for about 12 to $13, uh, a stick. Depending on where you go, I believe I picked mine up for like 12 and some change, like 12 29 12 39 somewhere around there. So they're really not bad on price. But um, back to my quick little announcements real quick. So, excuse me, if you are looking to stay in touch and you want to know what's being smoked, what's not, um, if you're looking for 
a group to follow to you know stay in touch with the smoking section on YouTube and everything else, please follow me at Facebook groups, uh, the smoking section and the the prayer hands with the chain and the cigar is where you'll find me. Anybody and everybody, the only rules that I have are there are no politics, uh, no no putting anybody down or being crappy to anybody. Um, it's just all about, you know, basically like friendship, friendship and family. Um, a lot of the guys that I have on there, I consider to be like family to me. Um, and of course, everybody that comes into the stream, I consider to be like family as well. Um, are you going to take member requests for a cigar review if you can find it around here? Absolutely. That was the next announcement I was going to make. So I'm, I'm, I know that I have uh, a bunch of cigars in my humidors that I want to bring onto the show, but I also want you guys to have a say as well. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions, you guys can either put it in the comments here or you can go to the Smoking Section Facebook group and make a comment. I'm going to make a post about seeing if anybody has any suggestions as to what cigar I should try and put on the Smoking Section next. So that's going to be coming around as well. I would like people to get involved and try and get you know more uh, activity through all of this so that will be coming as well but um if you enjoy smoking cigars and you enjoy learning about cigars and you uh, enjoy just talking with other people about cigars then try out the smoking section in Facebook groups and then of course um if you enjoy these videos and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe and the little bell to let you know when I'm going live. So that way you can be a part of the, the fun and festivities in the chat as well. Um, so that's kind of like my little midway through announcement. Um, one last thing, I will say it probably two more times, this being one of them, but we are still doing the breast cancer awareness drive as well. Um, I'm going to be doing another post of that on the smoking section page on Facebook. Uh, if you're interested and you want to uh, donate, uh, a little bit, that's fine. If you want to donate a lot, that's even better. Um, but there is no pressure for that. It's not a requirement to be a part of the group. It's just something that I kind of felt near and dear to my heart of trying to do something for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is the month of October, which is the month that we're in. So that's still going on until the end of October. So please, if you feel like you missed it the last time, you did not. Uh, it's still going on. I will be doing another post for that as well. So just keep that in mind too. So back to the cigar, it changed. <laughs> and I, the reason I'm saying that so abruptly is because it did, it changed. Uh, from the last time I puffed on it to that, just that one right there, it changed uh, probably about a quarter turn, not a full 180, but it did do a quarter turn where now the pepper is kind of even with the uh, chocolate and the cream a little bit. It's doing what I was Hoping it would do where it kind of changed subtly. Um, it didn't do a full 180 where it went from, you know, sweetness to uh, spice right away. Uh, I can still taste a little tiny bit of that Drew Estates uh, spices that are in there, but not too, too much. They've kind of gone uh, away for right now. But the pepper definitely decided that it wanted to get up in the front seat along with the cocoa. Uh, the cream, I'm really not tasting too, too much of it, but uh, more of like the heavier set of the, the milk chocolate with the pepper is what is going on right now. And I'm about about a third of the way into it right now. Not even a third. I'm going into the second third right about now. Um, so it, it is making a change. It's It was very, very subtle, though, but I could notice it right away. Um, and we're just going to keep seeing how, how far everything goes with it. Let's see how, how much we get out of the cigar. So I think I said this the last time. Um, also to try and get in contact with me, um, I'm probably going to be doing a Twitter page or an Instagram page. I haven't quite figured out which one I want to do yet. Be more open for everything, whether it be Twitter or Instagram. Uh, the best way to try and make posts and get you know everybody on board with that. We'll be doing one of those pages, uh, whether it be Twitter or Instagram. Um, 
I know my more so we don't have to worry about MySpace, but um, I will be doing a, another group page for uh, announcements and just to kind of help grow everything up a little bit as well. And it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to get in contact with me too if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, whatever the case may be. So we'll be doing that as well. And that one I really couldn't taste too, too much of a difference, but it, it, it does feel like it's getting something a little bit different, um, and I really can't tell too, too much with it. Uh, hey, Sean, and hi to the rest of the smoking section. Hey, David, how's it going, man? Good to see you, brother. Thank you very much for joining us here. Um, and I don't know. See, I, I don't put my own videos up while I'm doing them. So I don't know what the title comes up as. So if I repeat myself a few times, I'm still figuring things out. But, uh, tonight we are smoking the, uh, uh, all out Kings by Caldwell and drew estates collaboration. Um, it's, it's a really, really great cigar to be honest with you. Uh, the cigar just has a really, really nice flavor. Um, in the beginning of the cigar, we had a lot of that milk chocolate and cream with just a, a little hint of pepper on the back end of it. And now it's kind of, you know, taking a quarter turn where now the cream is kind of chilling out in a little bit, you know, off to the side. But the milk chocolate and the pepper is just kind of right there. Um, the pepper kind of decided it wanted to go up to the front seat and, you know, chill out up there as well, which is very, very beautiful because it is it is a darker wrapper cigar. So, I mean, I was kind of expecting more of that uh, mild uh, mild to full body taste, which I was really, really looking forward to. So I'm happy that it wound up going in that direction. Uh, David says, uh, going good. Good to see everybody tonight. Well, it's good to see you too, man. And I'm glad to see that you're doing well. Um, happy hump day, brother. Uh, you're about halfway through the week. We all are right now. So that's something to celebrate for. Just really happy that you were able to join us tonight, David. It's always nice to have you in the chat, brother. And Terry Monroe says, uh, this cigar you gave me is extremely consistent. Stayed smooth through the first half. Very nice. And Jay White popping in. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Jay? Good to see you, brother. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I do have to say that this cigar is very consistent, too, with, with what it's trying to do. Um, it's not doing things that I didn't expect it to do. Um, I had more of a, what's the best way to put this? I had more of an expected idea of what was going to go on. And right now it's falling in line with that perfectly. And I'm just really, really impressed that I am impressed that I figured out what it was going to do and B I'm impressed that it actually did it. Um, there's some cigars that you can just kind of tell off the bat which ones are going to do what. And this one did exactly what I thought it was going to do. It was going to have that really, really nice flavor of sweetness in the beginning. And it did. It started turning more into the pepper and the sweetness a little bit towards about the halfway point. So that's that's absolutely beautiful. And it's still burning really, really evenly. Um, the cigar is doing well when it comes to evenness. Um, I do keep knocking the ash off because, like I said, the only thing that I can say is the ash is very, very flaky. It's very, very fluffy. So um, I just don't want to have ash all over my table. But um, Jay says he's doing okay. Well, that's good, man. I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay. I know it's only Wednesday. You usually do great when it's like a Friday or a Saturday. So doing okay on a Wednesday, Wednesday isn't bad at all. That car hood is always open. Is that where you keep the humidor? No, no. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I actually have my battery tender on it. And I never want to put the hood down on the battery tender because after time, um, you will start getting maybe a little bit of a, uh, a, a cut or a nick probably in your uh, battery tender lines. So I, I just... I usually just keep it open. It doesn't winter time. Uh, I don't really drive it in the winter too, too much. And there hasn't been too many car shows this year. So, uh, Tina, which is, that's, that's her name. Tina is kind of just chilling out, relaxing this year. Um, and I really don't have to worry about too many animals getting in the hood, um, because it's not too cold yet. And she hasn't been running to be warm to begin with. So it's, 
it's okay to keep the hood up for now. But I wish that I could keep my humidor in in there as well. That would be a that'd be something special. I'd probably get a couple first prizes for having a humidor in the front seat or in the front trunk of the uh, the Nova. I mean, if you guys want, I can shut it. <laughs> um, it doesn't really bother me too too much. Um, but yeah, I usually just keep it open. Uh, the the car usually is pretty pretty much the way it stands. Um, uh, the I love I, I enjoy driving it. I, I love taking it out. I usually take it to church on Sundays. Um, of course, car shows, and then every once in a while, we'll wind up doing a. Uh, like maybe an ice cream run. I'll take Jess out with me and we'll do like an ice cream run. Just go out for, you know, the evening and grab some ice cream and we'll take the Nova out. And, uh, only problem is the Nova doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any, uh, heat or air conditioning in it. The only air conditioning it has is when the windows are down, but that's the way I like her. She's just kind of plain. She does her thing. She sounds good. She looks good. And I'm just proud of her. So that's Tina, everybody. Uh, Terry Monroe says, uh, since I know Karen is away here, uh, this week's quote for you is a good smoker, like a good lover always takes his time with a cigar. Thank you very much, Terry Monroe for doing Karen, Karen's job of the quote of the week. I'm sure she'll be very, very, very proud of you. Uh, David says, do you smoke in the Nova? Um, to be honest with you, not too, too much. Uh, if we go to a car show and I'm smoking a cigar and they wind up ending the car show early, I might smoke the rest of the cigar in the Nova, like on the way back. But usually it, it doesn't happen that way. Usually I, I smoke the cigar in the first part of the car show. And then I usually kind of just don't smoke the rest of the car show just so that way I don't have to. So the car, sh the car usually smells pretty, pretty nice. Um, Plus, I know that it's kind of weird, but I mean, I don't even smoke in my truck. Um, I have a 2018. It's at night. Um, I don't have too much time to smoke in the morning. Uh, I'm one of those guys that rolls out of bed with like 15 to 20 minutes before I got to leave. And that's just enough time to get dressed, uh, brush my tea, coffee and head on out. David says, uh, I know some, uh, some car guys are picky about that. Um, I can be honest with you. It really doesn't bother me if I were to smoke in the Nova. It's not like I like, it's not that I enjoy the smoke now, but then like later it'll be, like gag me or anything. Um, I just never really smoke in a vehicle to be honest with you. I guess, uh, I've never really had that. My, my dad smoked cigarettes when he was younger, but he quit long before I was born. So I never really have been around somebody that smoked in a vehicle. Uh, some of the guys that I went to high school with smoked. Uh, I smoked when I was in high school and then I quit and now I just smoke cigars. Um, haven't picked up a cigarette in so many years, <laughs> but, um, I just, I don't smoke. I didn't even smoke cigarettes in my truck, to be honest with you. Uh, I, when I had my 2008, my 2007 and my 89 Ford Ranger, never even smoked a cigarette in my car. I guess I just never really wanted that, that smell in there. Um, now I enjoy the smell of cigar smoke, so it doesn't really bother me, but I don't know, I guess just cause I haven't done it for so long. It never really, uh, seemed like an interest for me to smoke in my car. Sorry about scratching my nose so much. It's very, very itchy tonight. I don't know if that's allergies or what. But going back to the cigar, now that I'm kind of about halfway through, um, it has a very unique taste right now. And I really can't put my finger on what the taste actually is. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that it's going more along the lines of that Drew Estates spice that I know that is in here that I've tasted before, but maybe it's more prevalent now. Maybe the pepper kind of switched seats with it. Um, I am getting a little bit of pepper. Still getting a lot of that milk chocolate, though. Um, that milk chocolate has been very consistent throughout the whole cigar so far, but now I'm just getting like a very, very unique kind of taste. And I believe it's going to be that Drew State spice that's, that's mixed inside there. So I'm, um, I'm just, I'm really, really enjoying this cigar.
and it's just having it's being able to have just a really really i'm going to move my camera again because i'm actually going to sit back a little bit and i know that i have a light right above me <laughs> that keeps blinding us but um having a cigar that's just really really nice and has a beautiful flavor profile the way that this does is very very reassuring for me that i would buy this cigar again um the cigar has no issues that i've found so far other than the ash being a little bit flaky um it is to me this is not a good cigar to try and ash um the cigar seems like it's I, I can't tell because it's when i first got it i did give it like a little squeeze and it is a very very solid cigar it's not squishy um but it's not overly wrapped tight. It's just, it's just about damn well perfect when it comes to just the way that it feels, the way that it, it, it smokes. It's solid enough that it's not falling apart on me, but it's not so solid that I feel like I'm really kind of trying to suck like a golf ball through a garden hose. It's just, it's very, very clean, I guess that I could say. The cleanness of the cigar is just absolutely beautiful when it comes to just the way everything goes, the way that it just has the flavor, excuse me, the flavor profile. Even the build of the cigar is just so beautiful. Um, even now, like I've been knocking my ash off as I go, and it's still just so even. It's just absolutely beautiful the way that the cigar is just taking on its roll and doing its thing as we keep smoking it down. It's absolutely awesome the way this cigar is going. And it's just very, very enjoyable. And as you notice, I haven't had to relight it. Um, I've gone on a couple different minute spouts and then I wound up going right back to it. And it's still, I mean, if you go back in the video, I'm sure you could probably see it has not stopped smoking this whole time. Uh, some cigars, I feel like I'm constantly kind of pulling on it, but this thing is still really, really nice when it comes to keeping itself lit. It's taking care of itself. It's not letting itself go out. I mean, I'm sure if I left it here for 10 minutes, I couldn't come back and try puffing on it again, but for talking a little bit, taking a sip of something, even maybe even reading something for a couple of minutes and then coming back to it. And this thing is not stopped smoking. It's just absolutely beautiful when it comes to just being able to keep itself lit, have a nice conversation with somebody and you don't have to worry about constantly keep puffing on it to make sure that it, it stays lit when you're not really smoking it. Now, one thing I do and I'm going to do it now uh, and I did it in the last video as well, is I'm actually going to blow through the cigar. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get that old flavor back that had a lot more of the cocoa and cream and just a little bit of the pepper. And I'm going to see if by blowing through it, as I push everything towards that hot cherry, that everything kind of burns up. All that smoke that's just kind of sitting in the cigar right now, I'm going to see if I can try and get that to go back out and see if I can get a little bit of a new flavor through that as I blow out the old stuff. So let's give that a try. And it did. It wound up bringing a little tiny bit of it back. It wasn't like a big rejuvenation of flavor, but it still brought a little bit of that back. And it's really, really nice to be able to see that you can do that so well. Uh, real quick, uh, David says, I have an hour commute uh, from work, so that is a good time to smoke a stick. And I agree with you. If I had a really long drive to work, maybe I would smoke one in the morning because – you know, when I used to smoke cigarettes back in the day, you know, I really enjoyed like a cup of coffee and a cigarette. And, you know, that was just kind of like my morning routine and not saying that I crave it at all, but there are some cigars that I really kind of picture myself smoking as a quote unquote breakfast cigar. Uh, the Espinosa Creme is one of those cigars that I would really love if I had like a nice little small one. Those are one of the cigars that I would actually say, like I would smoke that on my way into work while I had my coffee. 
because it just has a nice subtle flavor. It has a little bit of pepper in it, but a lot of that cream is very present throughout the cigar. So by kind of doing that, it's kind of like putting the cream in your coffee. And I find it really, really nice to be able to do something like that. And, you know, I've smoked in the morning before, you know, around 10 o'clock in the morning. I might have a cigar if I go out and I wash the truck or something like that. But it's never something that's like really been like a daily ritual for me. Um, but, you know, who knows? Maybe in time, if I have a little bit of a longer commute, I can find a couple small cigars, like a couple dog walkers that I would start smoking in the morning time. But. You know, I, I really, right now, the way I kind of, you know, smoke my cigars is I really enjoy my cigar at night when it comes to kind of settling down for the evening. Cigars relax me a lot. Um, it gives me time to think. Uh, it gives me time to just kind of talk things over with the Lord. Uh, I'm able to just kind of settle down, get away from the world for right now. And cigars kind of help me with that. So starting my morning off already being tired, I'd probably fall asleep at the wheel smoking a cigar um, because I would probably go right back to being relaxed just because I have that mental state of whenever I smoke a cigar, it's time to start relaxing and, and winding down for the evening. So I don't know how I would fare off with smoking one in the morning right now, but hey, I have plenty of time in my life to try and do something like that. Maybe even get into it at some point in time. Maybe that'll be like a weekend ritual, maybe. Ooh, maybe we could start doing some weekend reviews. Maybe do something around like nine o'clock. We'll call it like coffee and cigars instead of coffee and donuts. Oh, we could do something like that. But the cigar really has gone back into a little bit of that vintage original taste that we had at the beginning of the cigar. And sometimes that's all it takes. Sometimes just blowing through it and getting a little bit of the old to burn out and then opening up the cigar for that flavor that, you know, now at this point of the cigar, sometimes that's all it needs. Um, I, I just started kind of blowing through some of my cigars to kind of burn that up. A lot of guys have already been doing it. Uh, this isn't anything new, but for me, it's something that I like to try and do now to see if I can try and get, excuse me, a little bit more of that old flavor back and see how well it does with trying to rejuvenate itself. And the cigar just does really, really nice with that. It was very easy to blow through. I'm sure you guys saw the big puff of smoke as I blew through it. Um, and that was a lot of the stuff just kind of burning off and trying to get, you know, back into somewhat of an original taste that I was enjoying so much. So. But the cigar is doing really, really well. I really enjoy the way that this, this cigar has went so far. Um, I kind of gotten to the point of the cigar where I'd like to give it a review, but I still feel like the cigar has a few more tricks up its sleeve. I'm going to try and go down to about where the band starts and see if anything changes from there and see if I can get a few more points in or off of this cigar before I give it my final review. But so far, everything that I, I've smoked through this cigar has been absolutely beautiful, and I really, really enjoy this stick. Uh, it, it's one of those sticks that I can honestly say I would love to have a box of these. Um, these could be like an everyday smoke for me. Um, these just have such a nice flavor to them, and they're just built so well. It feels so good in the hand. Uh, it, it tastes like something that I haven't tried before. Uh, that collaboration between Cadwell and Drew Estates has just been absolutely phenomenal. And I think that they did such a good job with this cigar. And I'm just so impressed by what this cigar has been doing. And, and I cannot tell you enough how nice it is to be able to have a nice cigar that you're not fighting with. You're not constantly trying to relight. You're not trying to, you know, even it up. Mucho points for trying to, you know, just keep itself together without a lot of tender, loving care, and it just does its job. And I absolutely love that about the cigar. Like I said, and you can see in the video, I mean, the, this thing puts out nice, nice smoke. 
it's just a beautiful cigar when it comes to keeping itself smoky. It's a very rich smoke. The, the smoke has a lot of richness to it. It's beautiful when it comes to flavor. It's beautiful when it comes to the draw. The smoke is full of life. It's not so light that you don't feel like you're getting anything from it, but it's not so heavy where you feel like you have to put it down, take a break, and come back to it later. It's just one of those cigars that does a really, really nice job all the way around, and it's an absolute beauty in my eyes. And like I said, right now, I am getting a lot more of that Drew Estate spice that just is very, very present in this cigar. And it's it's not that it's a bad spice. It's, it's more... If I were to try and describe the Drew Estate spice, it's going to be more along the lines of a sour isn't the word that I particularly like to use. But it's a very, very nice, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. It's a very, very nice sourness to it. It's not like a pepper or a pe um, or like a hot pepper flake. Um, it's more along the lines of like a sour spice, and but it's a very, very nice sour. Um, it has not a weird aftertaste, but it definitely leaves you scratching your head saying, what could this spice be? Um, I have a feeling that if anybody heard me say the word sour, um, that they would be like, well, why would you smoke it then? But it, it's, it's, it, it's kind of like why eat sour patch kids or the sour crawler worms or whatever, like sour can be good sometimes. And it's not like sour milk, but it's just a very, very nice, mild, type of spice that just has a beautiful way of just adding to the cigar. It's kind of like the cherry on top of the beautiful ice cream sundae. Um, you have your chocolate, you have your vanilla. Uh, the pepper is going to be more along the lines of, I don't know what you put on a sundae to make that spice. I guess the pepper would be like some pepper that you put on it, but if you like pepper, then why not put it on your sundae? Um, but it's just that really, really nice cherry that just kind of goes on top of everything and for it to just collaborate so well together it's absolutely beautiful to be able to just have a stick that has so many different flavors in it but they all blend together really really well and i find that awesome in a cigar uh david says i can't believe how many cigar blends drew estates put out i know um drew estates has a lot of cigar blends like i said i mean the whole java series is Drew Estates, uh, all of the Four Sisters from the Deadwood series, that's all Drew Estates. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, if you just ever go on and look up like Drew Estates cigars, you're going to have a big list of different cigars that Drew Estates just puts out. And it's just, everything is so unique. Um, even the sisters, there's, there's just a few differences with the sisters. They're all sweet tip cigars, but they all have such a uniqueness to them that they're not quadruplets. They all have their own personality. Basically what I'm saying, they're all not dressed the same. Um, they weren't put in a picture where their mom all made them wear, you know, the same dress and the same ribbon with the same hair tie. It's they, they all have their own personality. And I find that really, really important that you're not just having a cigar that has four different names, but it's four of the same types of blends, sweetness, and, and the cigar, essentially just different sizes. I think that that's really, really important for a cigar that's coming from the same company that has the same flavor profile when it comes to being a sweet tip, but it all has something different to offer. And I find that really, really important as well. I blew through it again a little tiny bit just to kind of see if I can get any last-minute notes 
before I kind of get into the the rating of this cigar, which I know that's what everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> but It's just kind of going back into like a little bit more of a pepper profile now. Uh, the The flavor of the milk chocolate isn't really there anymore. Um, it's it's really kind of taken up that Drew Estate's blend of spice and a lot more of the pepper. Um, the cream has been gone for me anyway for the last probably ten puffs. Um, it was a little bit present kind of going in to like the last little bit of this. Um, but it's just kind of gone now. Uh, the chocolate is more on like the very faint. Um, I get a little kind of a little bit of it more towards the end of the exhale, but the cigar is just truly really kind of taken over more into that Maduro roll where a lot of the pepper and the spice is there. Um, which is not a bad thing. I, I do classify myself as a Maduro smoker because I do enjoy a lot of the pepper and spice that go into a cigar. I do enjoy the sweet ones as well. Uh, like I said, the Espinosa Creme, uh, one of my favorites when it comes to like a, a nice light yet somewhat peppery cigar uh, with a lot more cream to it. Um, one of my favorites by Espinosa. But this cigar is doing wonderful wonderful things all throughout it and i think i'm going to give it my rating now um, as a rating i'm probably going to give this cigar it's gonna be a really really difficult one for me i'm probably going to give this a 4.5 um the reason I'm giving this a 4.5 is, like I said, the the ash really didn't hold too much weight when it came to uh, holding itself. Um, the ash did start getting really, really soft, kind of like that powdered snow that usually falls in New Jersey every so often. Um, the cigar itself just has an unbelievable uh, body profile when it comes to flavor, when it comes to uh, just the the look of the cigar, uh, the way that it's built is absolutely beautiful. And it's just, it, it's, it was an all around 4.0 out of five for me. Um, or a 4.5 out of five, I should say. Uh, the cigar does a really, really nice job of keeping itself lit. Uh, it does a really nice job of just staying smoky. It produces a really, really beautiful, rich smoke, um, Towards the end, a couple other points that I wound up taking off was now it kind of feels like, even though it's still smoking, um, it feels like I'm really kind of uh, puffing a few more times, like two or three times, just to try and get that nice uh, drag coming through it. But that's more towards the back end of this cigar. But the flavor profile is right on um, I really enjoyed the cigar. I'm really enjoying just the taste. It was an absolute pleasure to smoke. And, you know, being able to hold itself up, there were no cracks. Uh, the cigar didn't break under pressure. Um, even now, towards, like, the back end of it, it still has a very, very solid feel to it. Um, even with the back end of it being somewhat warm, uh, warmer now than it would be at the beginning of the cigar, um, it, it just did a really, really nice job of maintaining itself, keeping it true to itself and being able to just maintain itself throughout the whole smoking and talking process. So that's going to be, that's going to be my, my, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with that. That's going to be my rating on this. I'm going to give the all out Kings by Cadwell and uh, Drew Estates. I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of five. And I would definitely suggest if you get the chance, give it a try, pick one up. Um, if you're from New Jersey, there's a place called Heritage Cigar Store um, in Medford. They sell these. Um, if you get a chance, stop by and check it out. 
as far as everywhere else, I really don't know any other cigar stores other than like Easton um, and uh, Hamburg in Pennsylvania, but I really don't know what they carry too much. So um, we're going to, uh, we're probably just going to say that I'm just going to say the one in Medford. Um, so real quick, if you, as I kind of wrap everything up for this final thing, a few couple things that I like to add towards the end of the stream. Um, I am working at the Smoking Dog in Mount Holly, uh, New Jersey, uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday, I'm going to be there from 4 to 6, and Saturday, I'm going to be there from 12 to 6. So if you feel like coming out and having a cigar with me and trying a couple cigars and seeing me and meeting up with me, come on out. I always welcome everybody. Uh, come on down. We'll smoke a cigar, have a good conversation, throw on the TV, relax a little bit. And um, like I said, about halfway through, um, we are still doing the breast cancer awareness uh, drive for the breast cancer awareness month of October, which is what we're in right now. Um, that is going to be reposted onto the smoking section page. So if you want to donate, please feel free to donate. Uh, we already have a few people that have donated already. So thank you very much for supporting this cause. Uh, the donation drive is going to be going all the way up till the end of October. And um, if you're looking for a cigar group to join and you want to stay in touch with me and find out what I'm smoking, when I'm going to be uh, doing another live, please come see me at the smoking section at Facebook groups. And also stay tuned for the Instagram or the Twitter page that I'm going to be making. Uh, you'll know when I wind up posting which one it is. Um, if you have Instagram, great. If you don't, um, you don't have to feel like you have to download it. And of course, if you have or don't have Twitter, same rules apply. But other than that, I'm going to finish smoking this up and drinking the rest of my uh, mojito. And I'm going to end this stream here, everybody. I'd like to thank everybody who came out, everybody that's been chilling out with me and enjoying these videos. Please uh, subscribe and hit that little bell to let yourself know when I'm going to be streaming again. You'll get a notification. And I will see you guys on the next one, all right? So from the smoking section, my name is Sean. As always, stay blessed, stay smoking, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your week and happy hump day. See you guys later. Take it easy. Bye.